Well, on the surface, high school may look the same as it always has. You have your lockers, your grad photos and books. But thanks to new technologies like cell phones and tablets, the way students interact in the classroom is more different now than it ever has been. Have you clicked it? There's no shortage of technology in the modern classroom, and students' cell phone use isn't always sanctioned. Yeah, I know it's bad, just like whenever you just pull it out of your pocket. Mostly it's just scrolling through Instagram, not really doing anything. Uh, I try to usually hide it from the teacher so I don't get caught. The prevalence of cell phones these days is something all school districts are dealing with. Now that the vast majority of high school students have them, it's a new challenge for educators and administration. But some students say concerns about how much time they spend on their phones can be overblown. I'm careful with my phone. I know when to use it and when not to. For me personally, it's not that bad, but I know. Does everyone say that though? <laughs> I know, personally for me, I don't think I'm that bad with yeah. it. It's just a device that's there to help you, not control you. Like it or not, these technologies are more than likely to stay in the classroom. So for teachers, it's all about adapting them for education. Tell me which part you're thinking of. For LA Matheson English teacher Kyle McKillop, trying to outright ban cell phones in the classroom is a losing battle. So it's all about give and take in order to keep students engaged. For cell phones, we discuss what's a good time to use it. How are you going to use it? How would you turn the Wi-Fi on and off here? Let's check, because that's what the problem is, it's not connecting. I would actually like to have no cell phones at all in many ways, because it's an inherent distraction for myself. I actually lock my phone in my drawer or in my cupboard so that it doesn't distract me. And kids don't have that ability to step back and, and do that for themselves. So they need that reinforcement, they need those guidelines. So we negotiate. They get to keep their phones, and I get to know that they're going to use it positively. Or I'll ask very nicely and just say, thank you for your phone, I appreciate this. You'll get this phone back later at the end of the block. Thank you for sharing with me. Given the social pressure students are facing, the cell phone is more than just a means of communicating. This friendship is what helps you get through high school too. And keeping, maintaining your friendships through social media or asking them to meet up somewhere, I think that's very important. Cell phones aren't going anywhere anytime soon, including at school. Jason D'Souza, CBC News, Matheson.